Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and in this Electron JS video tutorial, we will learn about web frame. So let's take a look on the points of this video, then we will jump on practical example. So we will learn what is web frame, then how we can use it or import it. And uh, there's a lot of feature that can be achieved with the web frame, but we will take a look of zoom feature, right? So for that, we will add some button for zoom in and zoom out and we will apply a complete zoom feature in our application. So now let's get started. So first of all, uh, I just want to tell you that web frame is a feature that can use only inside uh, a render process. So we need to just import the uh, web frame inside the index.html. So just write here script tag and uh, take a const and just take a require the same as we are just uh, importing our uh, app and uh, window a uh, browser app here so just import here web frame import from electron and which model we need web frame but now whenever you will just run this application you will find that you are facing an error right i will tell you that what is the reason behind it so just open your tool and here you can see that required is not defined the reason is actually electron is not allowing to use required function inside html page so for that we need to just uh, add a property inside our browser window so just simply use here web pre uh, preference and just allow your node integration true now you can use your uh, required function inside index.html also and now let's see uh, just open your uh, dev tool and there is a no error that's great so now let's define our two buttons here and use br tag for that let me add a button for zoom out zoom in or uh, let's use here on click here and uh, just simply write zoom out and we can use a capital O with it again define on click function and uh, just uh, make a function zoom in and declare these functions zoom in and here we can just define zoom out right so on a zoom in function we just uh, need to check here web frame dot set zoom factor right and for that for setting the zoom factor we also need to know that what is our current zoom factor right so just write here web frame dot get zoom factor plus one right and with a similar way we can just make a zoom factor minus one and uh, now let's see is it working fine or not so let's click on zoom in and now you can see that our content is actually zoomed in we can uh, zoom it more and we can zoom it out also even we can just uh, go in a uh, uh, less than 100% even here you can see that right so this is the way that how you can zoom in and zoom out your uh, application content even with the uh, web frame you can also change your css some other kind of style or uh, uh, your spell check you can apply the spell checking and all but this is also important feature so even we cannot uh, show all features in a one video that's why we just pick up a uh, 
important feature if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box thanks for watching this video